Well, you think I would not joke? Today, you guys, so I bought something I had to buy, but you know, I decided to save money. I bought the Razer Huntsman Mini Analog. So I, you know before, I have a Huntsman Mini. From my previous video, I played Hyperion Technica, and I was planning to upgrade to something even more. So I got a Huntsman Mini Analog. So I got this from a guy who lives in Dandenong, and dude does not want to refuse out of his man cave. So it's hard for me to get him out of the man cave to meet me up in the CBD, so he's not coming out. So I had to get down him. And then we got, we did fair pricing, but we didn't, we did a fair chat and I paid full, full 90 bucks for him. But he didn't use it because he bought, he actually bought the ones without num a actual arrow key. A lot of the guys buy keyboards, they bought, they usually want to see if they have an arrow key. But this one, it, this one does not have a full arrow key, so he actually bought the wrong model for him. So he ended up selling this for me. Let's go unbox it. So, open the box, we also have the keyboard itself, razors. The dude does leave the receipt. This is he bought it from JB, and JB's got good ass prices sometimes. Huntsman mini analog instruction pamphlets and everything could surprise me. And this is a oh nice little sleeve. And this is a keyboard protective, and this is a cable for the keyboard. I just want to open her up. Come to mama. I had to use a new keyboard because my old one was obliterate. Oh one, I used the Huntsman mini, but I want something cool, so I got it for the analog. I think there's a, oh yeah, it comes with a, oh, it comes with a nice braided cables. Razer got really good with braided cables. And I'm actually a guy who likes braided cables because I, I wanted something that can last a bit longer, less of a beta. Uh, yeah, you know. And I made it back. So, you know, it's quite far. Rust back. Anyways, so let's unbox. Let's show you what's in there. This is the keyboard itself. This is Huntsman Mini Analog. I had, it's in its original packaging. The guy... He used it only once and he realized he fucked it up by purchasing the wrong one, so he got this. Plastic. Oh, there's a JB Hi-Fi receipt from him, but I'm not revealing what he purchased because I don't want to make blur the codes out again. But it is 180 bucks, so it's a little wet, but that's because it's soaking a bit of rain and a bit of gamer juice. Yeah, maybe it's just a little bit of water for me. But, you know, comes with the traditional Razer kickstands. You know, the keyboard with a kickstand is kind of like the one thing I would like. Kind of feel nice, though. Holy shit. Kind of nice. All right, let's plug her into the system and test out her analog systems. To make it as fair, I want to try to do least switches to, to fix up my keys. Because, you know, this is a nice-ass keyboard. But the problem is I have to change. I have to really recoil these keys. Fuck. And also, Razer made it really hard because he coiled it up really tight. That's hard to recoil them to because I wanted to only just like the distance between my laptop and my um, keyboard. I also use a Viper Ultimate as well, which you see right on your on your right hand side. But you know, we got we're gonna take a look at it. To be very fair though, they do have nice nice keyboard bundles. I kind of like the braided cables because they look kind of cool. And who does, who loves braided, who loves your keyboard having a, their own attached braid, braided cables? I like key, braided cables on their keyboards. It's like, because these cables, they're actually braided, meaning there are less chance of being obliterated. So what we're going to do is take this. This is a USB, this is a USB-A, yeah, USB-A slot. And I freaking up, I freaked it up. I'll probably have to retie it anyways. Let's test her out. Plug her into the port. It's a USB C, which is surprising. Razor uses a lot of, which is a nice touch because you know, I'm always a guy with USB C, but I'm still a USB A guy. Cool. If you guys like the keyboard, it's kind of nice though. I'll show you what it looks. I'm gonna type with a pretty long ass sentence, okay? Go to Notepad, Skin Notes. Yeah, it's downloading a Razor Synapse, so I'll show you what it is. Before I'm actually, to make it as fair, I used to go big keyboards, but now I'm going shrunk down because I need a bit more desk space. As a pilot training, you got you really need a lot of space on your side. But no, it's nothing new. So I typed it in, just saying autopilot's using the G C172 just on the G, just the G1000 the meme side. I actually fly a Cessna 172 with the G1000s, so it's kind of nice to have it. But to be very fair though, this is a nice keyboard. 
And is it worth $180 brand new? I would say no. But if you can get a snack this guy in second hand and it's about half price, if you get a snack down like at least 50% off or like, you know, 90 bucks like this one, you can definitely say that is actually good for 90 Australian dollars. But currently, a lot of like, just you know, that there is there, there is a chance of even you get pretty good Wu Ting keyboards for roughly 150 150 odd. But there's also a million chances that there's a crazy cult of Wu Ting play Wu Ting keyboard heads or just trying to get that damn keyboard. So keep an eye out because if one person reselling the Wu Ting keyboard for 150 bucks, snatch it before someone snatch it, snatch that because those guys are gonna get that keyboard. And number two, if you're gonna if you're expecting a numpad or a finger numpad or anything this is a small keyboard not a fat full not a full size not a tkl so minis meaning that you basically reduce no numpads no arrow keys it's just everything merged into one board all right hope you guys have fun thanks for watching i'll see you guys next no time. way Bye. yo I, I saw in the manual he got kept the razor stickers bro still kept the razor stickers he unboxed it tested it, and then he just say no so um yeah not surprising